a lot of this trail is not very well defined. So there's not a very clear path of where you're hiking and it's really easy to get off trail. And I say off trail loosely because there really isn't much of a trail up here. This is kind of how the terrain looks. And there's not your, there's not like the traditional, just flat, obvious path of where to walk. A lot of this is just like anybody's guess, and there's not very many Karens set up anywhere either. So definitely want a GPS on this one. I've been able to follow some people's tracks occasionally here and there. You can see a few. And then a good portion of this hike is like this, going up and over Scree. So that's what we're gonna head up and do now. Okay, this is the first section of Scree, and I'm pretty sure this is on trail. Once you get past the kind of confusing part, you run into this kind of an area right here. Big Scree Mountain, you're gonna come to the north of it, northeast, and you're gonna come around and find a trail up here. There's Hayden Peak right up there. And then here's the, it's, it's a pretty well-defined path here. You can see there's a lot of travel on it, just from the rocks being kicked loose, and it's the way the terrain looks. It's clearly traveled. And so this is how you get up that first patch of that first little scree field. So here's an example of kind of the difficulty of staying quote unquote on trail because there really isn't a trail, but my GPS is that we are on it, almost perfectly on it. I don't know if you can see that. And yeah, the snow's in the way, but even if it weren't in the way, there's not a really well-defined path to take. So it's kind of one of those things you just have to know your destination and do your best to find your way there. That's where we're headed. Okay, time for another game of can you spot the Karen? I'll give you a hint, it's right in front of me. Kind of, well, it's not right in front of me. It is now though. Boom, did you find it? Were you able to see the Karen? Okay, so we've made it up to the ridge and I'm gonna show you on my map where we are. Well, it's not really, we're on the ridge line coming up. I hope you can see that. That's where we are. And there's the ridge line. Here's how it looks out back. Here's to the south. And then here's north, or not northeast. Going east up to the spot where you have to scramble. Okay, so to get up to the ridge line. Once you pass the first section of scree, you're gonna be coming up to the second section, which looks kind of reddish. And that's where this is. And if you see that big white patch of snow, we're gonna go just on the north side of that, which is the left side. And then where it's really jagged and steep, there's a little path that we can get in up there and scramble up that. So once we get there, I will film that and show you where that is. Well, I got lucky and it's compact. Slippery, but compact. So that's a win in my book. So I'm not sinking up to my hips in this stuff. Let's see what was over this other side. Oh yeah, I wouldn't be going down that anyway. So the plan now is just straight up the snow until I clear those bushes and then cut back in and get on some rock. Don't slip.
Whew. This is an update video today, rather than a hiking video. So, instead of going straight up, I cut back over, because it was getting slick. And I didn't want to go on the ass bobsled all the way down that fucking hill. So, I came back over so I could, this section right here has got a little inward bias that kind of cuts back in. And there's some vegetation I can grab if I need it, because I don't have any crampons, I don't have any ice axes. So, here we go. Good stuff. Good stuff. Just kinda, fortunately it's, it's melted enough that I can kinda dig my feet in a little bit. Like this. And you might be thinking, hey Adrian, why don't you go right over here, under this? Yeah, because that mud is going to be worse than this snow. That's the reason. At least the snow you can kind of dig in, the mud is just slippery all the way down. But I'm almost there. And getting down, this thing will just do the... Oops. Getting down, we'll just dig in with our heels. Okay, so from this section, right here, there's... I don't remember, it's been a couple years since I did this. I don't remember if I went up this way, or if I went up right here in this crack, or if I went up over there. I think I went up right here. I think this is the crack I went in, but I might have gone around this and came up that side. So I'm gonna go check that, and see if I can get up this crack. I think that's it. So, neither of those was not, was not this one. And the map says it's not the other one. So I'm going over farther north Ooh. Ah, from that point. I'm going over here. I think it's up in here somewhere. So I'm gonna go check that out. Okay, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be one of these two. It's either this one right here going up or it's that one down there. And I'm showing you this so you can see on your approach how it looks so you know which one to go into. I don't know which one it is yet, but when I do, I'll let you know if it's this first one or the second one. I remember it, it is the second one. And also I see this little cairn here up on the rocks. So this is the way you scramble up to get over. I think I'm gonna build a bigger Karen by this to help other people find it. They'll do that. Take a little break and do that. That's kind of decent. Ooh, this is a good one. Super obvious right here. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, hell yeah. Look at that. Look at that Karen work. Ooh, wait, almost lost it. That's pretty good right there. If you come up and you see this Karen, just know it's Adrian of the West and hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and leave a comment about how my Karen helped you find your way up this mountain.
Okay, so the plan at this point is to come up this right here, this section, and then work the way up here, and then probably get a line back down here so Amanda can climb up that line. All right. hold right there got my foot up on that ledge and now I'm on this ledge I'll hold right here get my way up so that's where I've come from now I'll explore this area see how it looks that was definitely the one of the more challenging parts of it and I was only able to get that because that height now let's see, looks like smooth sailing from here, just up and around this section to the top. So now I'm gonna get my backpack up here, set her open, see about getting Amanda up. Ha <laughs> ha it goes through. Actually, you might be able to just hand it to me. Okay, that'll work. And then... I want your backpack. And I want you to keep all your climbing gear on you so you have it. Do you want to climb, actually climb up the rope, or do you want me to blay you with the Grigri? Okay, you good from there? We just came up this section right here. And that was where we tied in to that rock. Come around here. Here's what this looks like. you would think might be a really big, strong, stable boulder. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, Jesus. Don't. That's like literally ready to fall over. So I'm not gonna dislodge it because I don't know who or what is down over that and this thing will go for a ways, but that is dangerous. So you really have to be careful when you're on screw. You really have to be careful with that kind of stuff. 
because that thing is just ready to tip. Here's the top angle of that big death boulder right there. So from here, you know, you might think that it looks stable or not. But yeah, always be careful. Always, always test rocks. Always be careful and test the rocks before you are using them for handholds or footholds or anything, even step on them. Screes can be super dangerous, especially if you're on a steep cliff. Well, we're not on a cliff, but we're on a pretty damn steep hill, which you probably can't tell, but maybe you can from where I am. Here's what it looks like in front. You can see it's pretty, pretty good angle. We're just climbing over this stuff. There it is, the Karen. We are. Hayden's right up there. It's Hayden Peak. Not going to that today. I don't have light. And my girlfriend stopped down there a little ways back. I think five minutes. But she got tired. So it's all good. <clears throat> but I wish she was up here to see this. Cause it's gorgeous. Maybe I can go back and convince her to come up. I might try to do that. It's not very far. And it's really pretty. Look at that. <clears throat> I think I might go back and try to get her to come up here. I think I will. All right, looks like she's coming. I convinced her. Cause we're so close. See, she's right down there. And it's just right up over this, this ridge. Super close. All this way, all this hiking. Not to see that, that would be a bummer. So I'm glad she's coming up. While I'm waiting, here is, well, you might not be able to see it. it might be underexposed because of the sky, but that is Bald Mountain, right there. I've hiked that before, it's a good hike. That's straight up, that's a steep one. You can see all the lakes down there, a bunch of little lakes everywhere. This is the Mirror Lake Scenic Byway. I can't even see if I've traced that accurately on the screen because it's way overexposed. Or because of my glasses, I think it's right there. Yeah, you can see it. I'm sure you can probably see it. I can't see where to trace it though. Here she comes. Almost there. Yeah, this is a beautiful area. This is not a hike I'd recommend for like a novice hiker. You could do it if you had someone to lead you up it, but it's pretty easy to get lost up here. And because it cliffs out in so many places, once you get up past that, that section earlier in the video that we climbed up, once you get past that, if on your way back you can't find that, you might not be able to get down. So being able to mark that with like a GPS, I use Gaia GPS, which is really good. That was, that's something you should definitely do. Maybe leave a marker next to it so you can find it, but, or just come with somebody who's experienced and can find it. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't attempt this if you weren't experienced. So, but the hike itself isn't terribly bad. It's a pretty good, that's really not bad at all. It's a good bit of elevation gain. Once you're coming up this whole thing here. But yeah, the scree kind of sucks to walk over because it's loose, but it's not terrible. 
and all the way to Hayden Peak, the rest of that, that's just all scree. You're just going the ridge line. And I've been close to Hayden before, but I've, I didn't go to the actual top of Hayden. I was really close. Like, I don't know, it must've been like 30 feet away, but I, I didn't know, I didn't, no one knew where I was. I didn't have any of my climbing gear with me and I didn't know how to get up there. So I was like, eh, I could probably climb this section, but then I'm gonna get back down and I don't wanna risk it. So I didn't. So yeah, that's on the list to do. It's on the list this summer. Here we are. Not, not to the top of Hayden Peak, but up that first part, Hayden Peak is right up there. We'll come back and do that another time in the summer. Sun's getting too low in the sky today, but a beautiful hike. I'm looking forward to coming back and doing that part. Depending on the route you take coming up here to get to the top, the route that we just took, we've seen a couple of Cairns on the way, but going back down this, let me see if I can find it in this tiny little LCD screen I have to look at here. That little outcropping right there. When you're coming back down, that's where you want to go over if you want to come up the way that we did and get down the way that we're getting down. Here we go. I'm gonna run down the hill and slide. fun.